So Microsoft has released the JSON schema they use to validate the JSON themes in Power BI. So with that, I have actually updated my theme guide and I'm going to show you that as well as how you can use the theme together with my JSON file to create easily create your theme files. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, the link is in here, it's on the web shop also uh, to the report theme JSON schema. So here is the latest version, go to raw so you can see it. And this is not something that you can just plug in into Power BI and then suddenly you have a working uh, theme file. You still need to go through all of this stuff and fill in with your values, obviously. This is just listing which uh, properties and values are allowed, okay? So there you have it. It's huge, really, really big. But anyway, it's extremely useful for me to now update my theme guide knowing that the values that are there are correct. It's not something that I, you know, figure it out by myself. So that's really cool. Let me show you how the new theme guide looks like. So this is how the JSON file looks. You have a home page, and here you have options of what you can do. So you can get the properties of one visual, click on the button, and it will take you to the slicer. You can pick a visual that you like, for example, the pie chart, click on it, and it will take you to the place where you can see all the properties, all the labels for that visual. Here it will take you back to select another visual, but if you want to go back home, you just click in there. Next one, we have a look at the properties of one visual and find my two JSON values. These two are quite similar, but not quite. I always use this one. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to take you there. So this is the way it looks, which is very similar to the other one. But what I have done is I have a space here to actually paste the visual that you want to change and see the properties. I will do a demo a little bit longer in the video, so just watch that part. We're going to go back. This is to get the property for all visuals. Let's say that you want to change the titles for all the visuals. So you can just find everything for all visuals in here. Quite ne neat. Then you can check the available fonts in case you want to change the name of the font. So this is the name in Power BI and this is the name in JSON. Go back. You can change the colors available in the theme. This is my theme, the one, if you buy the Power BI JSON theme that I have, these are the colors that you'll get. Go back. And then an addition for this um, version is that I have now all the, not all, but almost all the visuals available in here. So here are the all the tables. It actually follows this structure, bar and columns, line and areas, waterfall, right? So if you're familiar with this, this is the water. So if you select bars, you want to see all the bars, it'll take you and you will see all the bars. And the cool thing about this is that you can see how your theme looks. So you can go back and then you can say, I want to see all the KPI and cards. And then you can see how your theme looks with all the visuals on it. Another thing that I use this for is for, let me show you. So we're going to start doing some examples of how this actually works. So for example, I want to change the size of the number for this KPI. So I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go back to by visual. I'm going to paste it in there. So now I can easily have access to all the properties available. And it's easier for me because I don't remember, the, you know, there's thousands and thousands of properties. It's a mess. So what I want to change is this number here. So the number in there is actually on the call out value, this. So if I change it here, you see that it goes bigger and smaller. So how do I find the right way to change this in the JSON theme? So, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that these are clear. Then you can go here and search for the one that you want to um, change, the KPI. I was actually hoping to uh, have this folder give me this the visual here, but I have to use bookmarks and it's not feasible because I would have to have 50 bookmarks and it's going to be a mess. So copy paste. Here's the KPI and then I'm going to here and I'm going to do size. I want to see not the icon size, but the text size. 
And then obviously there are a lot of text sizes in here, but we want to have the current value is the indicator. So it's this one here. So if you pick that, I always start actually, not always, but often it starts from the end and then backtrack my way up. So I need to go uh, to my JSON file, the one that you can also get if you want to, and search for KPI on the JSON level indicator, I need to change font size. So let's go there. Okay, so this is my JSON file, the one that you can also get. It's a lot easier to do it with a predefined file. I promise you. Okay, control K, control zero. Install Visual Studio Code. It's, uh, it's, it's just so wonderful, it's such a wonderful piece of software actually. So visual styles. And then we need to search for KPI. And here are all the properties for the KPI visual. I'm going to open it, open it. And then if you remember, it was indicator, open that. And then it was font size. Where is it? Font size 16, why not? Or change it to font size 12, save. And then I'm going to import it in Power BI. So then you go to view, you go here and then browse for themes, get the JSON. And if you see that it doesn't change, you need to reset the default values. Make sure that you do that. And as you can see, it's 12 as we set it on our JSON file. Lovely. Next, I'm going to do two changes to the matrix, just, just as to, to see how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this and clean all my slicers. I'm going to go to the tables, which is these ones, and I'm going to copy the matrix. Go back to my visual, paste, and now I have all the properties for the matrix in here. Where one of the things I wanted to do is I don't want the matrix to auto resize. It just drives me nuts. So auto is on column headers options. Right, so first you want to search for the matrix here. The matrix is called pivot table. Then you want to search for the auto size column width, lovely. And then you can see that it's column headers, auto size column width on the pivot table. So let's go back to our JSON file. Close this. It was called pivot table. There is this our matrix properties. It was column headers. So go and look. There. And then it was out to size column width. And I want to send this to false. So once you have this, you update it, and then it will never resize anymore. So cool. Now, my JSON file is does not have all the properties available because you saw the file at Microsoft. It's just too big. It's, you don't want to change absolutely everything. You just want to change what you want to change. So what happens if you find things that you want to change that are not available in the file that I give you, if you get the file? I'm going to show you. So we're going to work with the new card visual. So I'm going to get rid of these, get rid of that, get rid of that. There's also things you need to do different things when working with the card visual that you, you just need to know. So we're going to go to all visuals and I'm going to go to the KPI things. And here is a new card visual. I copy it, paste it there. Here I'm going to search for the new card visual. And there are a few things that I want to change that drives me nuts <laughs> with this visual. Okay, what I want to do is on reference labels, I want to put a uh, product name there. You can see it, lovely. So I don't want this part of the, I'll, I'll show you here. So reference labels. So I don't want this background to be gray. I think it's really, really ugly. So what I want to do is on the reference labels, just get rid of the background color. Now, if you search here for background color, obviously there's a lot of background. So in this case, I go here first and I look for reference labels and then, well, they haven't actually listed all the properties yet for the new visuals. So there are not so many as you can see. And you can see here background color. So it's core visual, reference label, background color. 
let's go back to JSON. Okay, so it was card visual. Let me do control K, control. This is to, to collapse the JSON. Control K, control, and then one, zero, one, two, three, depending on the level that you want, right? So card visual. And there are no results because I don't have any card visual. Um, when you get this value, you will get card visual, but just to show you. So how do you add something new that is not there? So I like to put them in alphabetical order just because, you know, sometimes I, s I scroll. So card, the next one will be our card visual. So we're going to do card visual. And then you're going to do the curl bracket. Enter. And then you need to have a comma to separate them between. And then I open the card and see, OK, how, what is the next level? And the next level is start. It means for all. And then curl bracket. And then enter. Lovely. And then continue. Now, these are the properties that we are interested in. It was called reference label. So we go in here and we put reference. You can actually copy, which is probably better if you copy. And then you can see that it's a square bracket. And then enter. And then if you open one of these, you'll see that it has curly brackets as a next level. So we're going to put curly brackets in there. And then we need to have the property name which is background color copy copy value and then you put it there right so colors are a bit tricky to add so i always look at an example because i forget how to write them so to write a color you need to have this part so i'm going to put it there and then check visually that you have all the uh, brackets and all that stuff and one more thing that you need to do for this visual to work is because it has different levels you have to tell it like which level you're in i i believe that's what we're doing and then you put dollar sign id and this is default save and then hopefully we did everything right and it works. Let's see. Browse for themes. Lovely. And as you can see, it's just white now. So just because they released the schema, it doesn't mean that things are a lot easier. They are easier in a way that at least we know what the properties are called, but that's basically it. The rest you need to figure out yourself. So, um, yeah, I hope that these resources are useful. Again, on my website, you can get either only the JSON file or only the theme guide, or you can get both in a bundle. So hopefully this helps you. I will see you again in the next video.